up today is wednesday and i'm currently in my bathroom getting ready for the day i think there's an ambulance hopefully you can't hear it we have my coffee as you saw in the montage just went with the basic vanilla latte this morning yeah so i'm gonna do my skincare and i'm gonna do my hair i'm gonna try out some of these new products Probably not the cleanser. I'm very particular about my cleansers. So I'm just gonna do my first day beauty. Pure skin face cleanser. This is the OG. It's pretty much the only moisturizer, or not moisturizer, cleanser that I use. But I do have some new Verse products that I wanna try. That's kinda cool. It's like an eyedropper, but you push it down at the top. <laughs> The scientist in me is screaming. Anyway, so this is the hydration station booster. Um, we're gonna try it out and see. Uh, it's a different consistency than I thought it was gonna be, so. Oh, you mix it into your serum moisturizer or you can use it solo. Huh. And then this is the Sunday morning antioxidant oil serum. Maybe I'll use this. This is AM and or PM. But my friend Fenya said that she likes this one. I think she said the orange one so i think it was this one and then at the end we will use some of these mood lighting glow drops i don't think today is going to be a makeup day so um i like using just like some dewy products that make my skin look good but that i don't really have to do anything with you feel me cool all right let's get going uh but like i said today's wednesday so it's pretty um, normal day. I don't really have much going on today. Just the usual weekly experiments happening. So I'm going to go into lab. Old Faithful that I know, y'all know, I talk about these all the time. But they are the um, facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty as well. Bop, bop. Push up so that it fills the stopper. Top tier. Gonna press it into the moisturizer. These are really potent, I think. <laughs> and then I think I just need to use less of the dew drops, but. Overall, I think I like the way it looks. Go by. I realize that I don't want to stay the same. Hello, friends. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabby. I am a New York City based life and style content creator. I'm also a full time PhD student at NYU School of Medicine. And today is Wednesday. We are doing a day in my life because why not? But first, a word from our sponsor. I'm very, very excited about today's sponsor. Like, pinch me moment, I think. Today's video is sponsored by Albany Park. And Albany Park, if you didn't know, in case you missed it, my beautiful green sofa that I have in my living room is from Albany Park. And I adore it so much. So obviously, I was so keen to partner up with them to talk a little bit more about Albany Park. So Albany Park is a online DTC sofas, sectionals, they've got it. And I was originally drawn to Albany Park because I wanted a green velvet couch. Like I knew on my Pinterest boards, like since probably 2014, I was like, I want a green velvet sofa. And so I got a green velvet sofa and I loved the olive green color of the Albany Park sofas. It is just so rich, but it's also soft and comfy and very, very durable. I've had literally no issues with stains or rips or anything, and it's been six months. It's holding up 
beautifully and I use my sofa like I, I it's not just there to be pretty like it's pretty but I'm like using it you know what I mean you know like some sofas it you like you you just don't want to sit on it because you're like that looks fragile um but yeah my sofa is beautiful and I also love to actually use it I also love it for my friends come over they always comment on how comfortable and like deep it is which I also really love about it so yeah it is kind of perfect I have the Kova 84 inch sofa with the ottoman and it fits really nicely in my living room so it is like the perfect size for me personally i knew that i wanted a sofa that i could lounge in that i could work on my laptop in watch tv read books all kinds of stuff so that was really important to me you can use a firm which i personally use i just felt like it was um just the easiest and best financial decision for me so i did like a year-long payment plan through a firm and it's super easy it's like a hundred dollars a month and i have a beautiful gorgeous couch that i love and will continue to bring with me to ne to my next apartments because it's honestly like perfect but also the nice thing about it is that it came in boxes like each of the pieces was in i think it came in like a total of five boxes there's a vlog on my channel um i'll link it down below where i unbox it and put it together and i did it all by myself the delivery folks brought it up to my apartment and it was in like five like yeah, decently sized boxes and you just like take them all out put it together it's super easy and it was really nice because new york city apartment buildings the hallways are very like small sometimes so it was nice like knowing for a fact that my couch would fit through my doors because it was in separate pieces and yeah so that was really nice uh for sure but yeah, thank you so much to Albany Park for sponsoring this video. You can use my code, which I will put on the screen, um, for a discount. And uh, my exact couch will be linked down below, so check it out. I definitely recommend 10 stars. Love Albany Park for sure. Let's go ahead and get into the rest of the video. Wednesday. Let's get it. All right, so I'm about to head out, but I figured I would do a quick little OOTD. Um, nothing crazy. I tend to wear like very simple outfits to work, especially when I have like a lot of experiments to do. It's just like easier to like deal with. Um, so yeah. So today we're doing a shacket moment. I love this thing so much. It is super cute and comfy. Uh, it's from H&M from a couple months ago, but it's like a really nice like oatmeal color almost like an oatmeal gray is that possible i don't know i feel like gray oatmeal is maybe not appealing but then i have this just like ribbed tank situation from h&m as well these jeans are the levi's rib cage um right now i have <laughs> my slippers on but i will probably switch to boots because it's kind of cold outside i'm wearing this ring which is from mango and then i really need to clean this mirror i have uh these hoops which i believe are for from francesca's i think i picked up my laundry this morning so i need to put that away tonight but yeah cool let's rock and roll also do we like the books on the windowsill i kind of do i kind of feel like it's a vibe also speaking of books um i finished all about love by bell hooks uh yesterday it was my commute book so i need to choose another one but i like this book it um it's different from what i usually read but i feel like she made a lot of good points there were some things that i like maybe disagree with her or just have a different outlook on but um you should follow me on goodreads it was a really interesting book probably really good for a book club situation you know but yeah also there are a lot of like good quotes in this book i'll give her that i will give her that but yeah cool 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 let's rock and then i'm also gonna put some of my gabrielle chanel perfume on it's probably my scent of choice along with the burberry her but i think today is a a Gabrielle Chanel. I wish you could smell it because it smells so good.
hello good evening what's up i am back in my apartment i changed to go to the gym um it's kind of late i stayed at work for kind of a long time um so i'm a little bit behind my usual schedule i really just kind of want to get some movement in so i'm going to the gym but that's where we're at waiting for my phone to charge up a little bit but i'm gonna go get a little workout in cool let's do it so i just watched the first part of the first episode of the gilded age on hbo max it's like new money versus old money in new york city and i think it'll be super interesting it's by the creator of down abbey and yeah it's pretty good so far um getting acquainted to the characters there's a lot of familiar actors as well so that's cool too but yeah team it is um many hours later but i am doing my skincare i went to the gym did a peloton class another rad lopez you know the drill Ooh, i'm gonna scooch you over i also did like the elliptical for like 20 minutes beforehand as like a warm-up so that was nice um but this is just the Garnier um, Micellar Water. But I'm just taking off my makeup. I just put on mascara today, so it shouldn't be that much. I felt like I was running around a lot today, which was like not my intention. Um, I thought it was actually going to be kind of a relaxed day, which is why I decided to vlog. But time just kept getting away from me. You know, that happens sometimes. Like, I feel like it was like a well-planned day. I knew what I needed to execute when. And it just was not not adding up for me. I just wasn't wasn't doing it using the first day of beauty face cleanser because I apparently don't like change. But it's also just so good. Like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And then I always feel like I look super graceful when I do my skincare and then I get it on camera and I'm like, why do I look so frightening? And why do I look like I'm slapping myself just over and over again? You know? Um, apparently it's supposed to blizzard this weekend. Not actually. I don't think it's technically a blizzard, it's like a winter storm, but like, it's a joke, I don't know. So next up, we're doing all of our fun nighttime treatments. Um, I'm gonna be using the Skin Fix Lipid Boost Healthy Eye Treatment. I've heard a lot of really good things about Skin Fix, so I have like a couple of dark spots. So I'm just gonna use the Lightning Wand from Hero. Next up, we've got the Sunday Morning Antioxidant Oil Serum. Um, and this just says three drops. Um, and then I'm gonna go in lastly with the OG High Potency Nynamins. I mean, some nights I do the whole shebang. Some nights I literally just wash my face with cleanser and then, um, go in with the First Aid Beauty Moisturizer. And that's it. I feel like a lot of the times my skin just needs to breathe. And then I'm going to try out the Patchology breakout box. I'm going to try the salicylic acid dots. They come in these like cute little mini packs. So I've got this. Gonna go on that bad boy because it is massive. I'm going to try out the Flamingo deep nourishing cream on my body because I be ashy sometimes. And like I'll be walking down the street like I'm getting judged because my ankles are crispy so we're gonna put <laughs> we're gonna put this on yeah cool I just look like a beauty queen 
Da -da 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 -da. So I also forgot to share that I got a couple of books in the mail that I ordered. Um, so I got A Court of Wings and Ruin, which is the third book of A Court of Thorns and Roses. We've got The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I have literally heard so much about this book. Pretty excited to read this eventually. Next up we've got Colleen Hoover Verity. This is another one I've heard a lot about. And then also Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. I've also heard quite a bit about this one. So yeah, excited for this stack of books. Really good. So I think I'm just going to watch the rest of Gilded Age and chill out for the rest of the night. But uh, yeah, that was the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Sunday, mostly in New York City vlog. So yeah, uh, cool, cool, cool. Be sure to check out Albany Park if you're looking for a sofa. I seriously love this guy. Um, it is literally my favorite. I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Peace out.